The election is coming and the border will be a very hot topic. And today I want to relate to you some very important information and facts that will broaden your thinking on the border. To me, the border can be described as a trifecta of hypocrisy. There's the parties, there's proof, and there's the people. You know, I've been around a while now, and I've seen both parties be very, very generous at the border. Now, let's start with President Trump and what he says. Millions of people were allowed to come into our country from prisons, from jails, from mental institutions, insane asylum. Hey, my friend, in 1986, what happened? In el, eh, en el, 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 1896, uh, President Riga, I give you amnesty, amnesty a paper for everybody. Okay, okay, okay. So that happened in 1986. 1986. 1986. Right, right, right. Okay, so so did you get your amnesty papers? Yeah. You did? Yeah. What was the reason that you decided to come over here? Oh, for coming over here. Uh -huh, why? Uh, for, uh, for, much problem, I'm from. Where you from? Guatemala. Guatemala. What, what was the problem where you from? The, the, the guerra. Pum, 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 pum. A lot of gangs or yeah. the government? What yeah. Is, okay. Mucho, mucho. Uh, my brother, el, el army, kill. Kill, okay, all uh, right, okay. Brother. When you look at the ways that people are allowed to cross the border, it's almost like they are de facto citizens of this country, especially the ones from the Americas. Almost like there are certain types of written laws or policies that allow them safe entrance into our country. And I did find something. The closest thing that I found is called the Monroe Doctrine, made in 1823. The Monroe Doctrine is preemptive foreign policy made for the powers of the Eastern Hemisphere, mainly Russia and Germany. It was simply telling those countries, hey, you stay on your side of the world, Eastern Hemisphere, and we'll stay over here, the Western Hemisphere. And if you do come over here, the U.S. unilaterally took dominion over all the countries in this hemisphere. Now, the U.S. is set up militarily all over the world. Now, tell me, what country has a military presence in this hemisphere? Today, can too much undocumented immigration hurt the country? Yes, it can, especially the way it is today. It mainly will hurt the people at the bottom of our socioeconomic ladder. The blacks, the legally documented immigrants, and the American-born children of all the immigrants. Many people at the bottom of our socioeconomic ladder go on to do great things for our country. But to not acknowledge the reality of excessive undocumented immigration is irresponsible and hypocritical. 